Hello and welcome back everyone. Today, we will take down Tartuccio. I promise. Uh, we have found a Might Hermit. The Might watches you angrily and hisses. The Might hisses again, furiously gesturing towards the exit. Ah. Well, sucks for this hermit. Hey, he shot first, alright? Not my fault at all. A wand of bane and some yes, a lesser restoration. I crave for adventure. That is exactly what I needed, and there's like nothing else in here. Okay. Greetings, ally. <clears throat> we train aim. Best get reward. You play too, yes? Octavia winces. I've seen noble, rich, educated people with the same taste in entertainment. Scales and fangs would suit them far better than velvet and satin. Chaotic evil. A contest? I'm in. Uh, let's go like lawful neutral. You may capture or kill your enemies, but do not torment them. Finish them off, and no more torture. Hmm. I like that one best. The mites are surprised. How we train aim if Cobalt dead? Fine, we kill this and catch new. Alright, so we've got the lever, so let's see what this does. I think it just gave us a level up. Oh, it gave uh, Tristian a level up. Alright, let's do that real quick. Oh, it is level 4 that you get your first ability score. Okay. Hell yeah. Let's grab another shield of faith. And a remove fear. Level 2. Protection from alignment communal. Sounds good. So resist energy. Delay poison. Protection from alignment communal. That looks good. Uh, just some blue. Oh, another one of these necklaces. Magic greatsword. Greatsword plus one. Amiri's sword is still better. Alright. Uh, I'm not sure how we drop this bridge here. I'm not going to worry about it. We're going to head over to the Sycamore Hall. At last! Finally! Right. So. Tartuccio. Oh, cutscene. There's some port of portal here. Oh, my impromptu rival! You are late, as always. A little advice? Never join any races. Speed is just not for you. So, what is with this disguise, Tartuccio? Do you mean the performance I put on for the kobolds? Wasn't this an excellent idea? The poor folks did everything I wanted. Even started a brawl with their beloved neighbor mites. I did not even need to make any effort to complete my mission. That is why I will always be a step ahead of you in the line. And this is the person I nearly made the hero of my book? You. Also, you. I know you're a Pataxian spy. But you don't know my mission, and won't ever know because I will never tell you, even for the pleasure of seeing your discouraged face. And yeah, what were you looking here for? Why did you need all this? Don't take me for an idiot. I am not going to tell you anything, even despite the fact that I am going to kill you. By the way, did you know I am going to kill you? Uh, X to doubt. Alright, that's enough. Yeah. 
Octavia. As usual, you will make a Miri large. Ow. Alright. Mutagen. Ah, oh, here. I almost forgot my panda. Hey, you know what? We'll just vanish. That's fine. Christian, what can we use here? Hmm. Here we use Bon Holy Symbol, protection from evil. What alignment are all these guys? Are they all evil? Are they like chaotic or something? They're all evil. Okay. Uh, communal protection from evil, please. Oh no, Adayan. Very nice. And you can also have this potion of mage armor. Uh, Lindsay. Usually I would go for the Inspire Competence, but I believe we are going to Greece. Uh, namely Tartuccio, because I really don't want to cast some spells. Alright, so we got four kobolds, but Tartuccio made his reflex throw. Kind of unfortunate. Uh, Miri. Rage. And... See, so walk up here. Start smashing. Oh, there goes two of them. Okay, don't get too close to the grease. Go ahead, drop a bless. That was a fireball. Octavia's instantly down. He just roasted all of his own dudes. Do I have any form of silence? That could be really nice. Uh, sure, we'll just heal up quite a bit of the damage that he just did. Lindsay, see if you can hideous laugh to this clown. Eh, of course he makes his will save. That's alright. That's fine. Alright, spam. Well, don't know what I expected there. They all made their will save. That's disappointing. Uh, now that Grease is more of a problem than anything. I don't think that was a great idea. Hurricane bow for her. Cool sneak attack hit. Uh, I guess shoot this guy or not. Go ahead, mobility. Out of here, don't want any attacks of opportunity. Thank you. 
Wait, where are all these cobalts coming from? Let's see. Drink a potion. Take a swing. Ooh, he failed his saving throw. Got Octavia, just start oh, shooting. If I have to. I've got plenty of potions where that came from. Die! 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 You know what? I might be able to get a good burning hands if I move over this way. There we go. There, okay. Very nice. Uh, inspire courage. You know what, just focus Tartuju. Just just focus Tartuju. Get this guy out of here. Yes. Huh. God, I love Grease. Such a good spell. Ah, can we retreat now? No, no retreat for you, I'm afraid. This guy, you know what? I am being way too passive. Let's see, what can we get? Uh, we got a bunch of greases down, a whole bunch of that stuff down. Uh, let's go ahead. Ooh, nice crit. Goodbye, Tartuccio. You can't stop me. May I see your entrails, please? I think now we just clean up the rest of these cobalts and we should be good to go. Alright, we can just let go real time. Alright, so that was everyone. So I'll go through the loot, we'll see what we get. And we will move on. End uh, this little chapter here. Ooh, magic head shield. Tartuccio has a magic ring. Wand of magic missile at caster level 3. And a Restavic Inquisitor's Broken Crossbow. A pedestal of some sort formed by tangled tree roots. It seems that some long and narrow object rested here until recently. There's no sign of it now. Interesting. That must have been what Tartuccio was after. At the exit of the Sycamore Hall, you meet Bada, Queen of Mites and Suit Scale, Chief of the Cobalts. They look as can they look as cants what the heck? They look acants at each other, their rage barely suppressed, but they do not attack. You promise fine truth. Open it soon, you find Shaman. Tell the truth. Tartuk deceived everyone. It was he who stole the sycamore branch from the kobolds to make war with the mites. He attacked me and he was killed. Now I possess both sacred branches. Treacherous! Treason! I know, purple hide traitor. Now that you know the truth, you must give up this needless feud and live together in peace once more. The true aggressor here has received his just punishment. Oh, man. Do I do the lawful good thing? Or do I just kill them all? 
maybe this whole like chapter is like the redemption arc for Melendrius because he started off like neutral evil but he's been making like more and more positive choices I kind of like that idea the chief holds the sacred branch his eyes are full of sorrow much blood is shed not easy forget but we struggle no might do evil deeds again you friend welcome guest always the queen shakes her head thoughtfully was much death hard to forget bad blood but i wise queen find other way no kill kobold no more ally you brave and fair be our guest precious now always amazing you managed to get them to reconcile good work i thought a fight was inevitable you know it looks like you may yet become a worthy ruler of this realm all right well it looks like we are finished here so we'll head back up to the surface finish exploring the uh, the main map up top there and move on with our adventure oh what a sorry spectacle the treacherous servant of a treacherous king who in his turn is mere servant to even greater powers he impersonates a lesser creature and dies a good joke is a powerful weapon, and a bad one can seal the Joker's fate. So be it. Rise, my unfortunate jester. Your performance is not over yet. What? So now I've got to deal with undead Cobalt Tartuccio? Who is this? Graruk. The beast before you is unusually large, and its eyes especially angry. Its menacing grin might almost be taken for a smirk. Greetings, traveler. Before you draw your weapon, I wish to say I see no reason for feuding between us. We might even be of some use to each other. Wait, why is this wolf talking? Is it magical or something? I am no wolf female. I am a warg. Surprising you could live to your age without learning the difference. Well, it's never too late to teach a lesson to an insolent two-legged morsel. The beast slowly licks its teeth. Who are you calling a morsel, you pelt? Amiri glares at the beast, her hand on her sword. You say we could be useful to each other. Bring me something delicious. Three or four bodies will be enough. And I, as a sign of gratitude, will tell you where an old traveler buried his chest. An old traveler, you say? A very old, lean, and flavorless traveler. I have a feeling I already found this chest that he's talking about. The, the one that was buried... Uh, or, well, that, like, fell down into the caverns. I think I already got that. If you're hungry, then hunt. I see no point interfering with the natural order of things. Well, as you wish. But consider my offer. You may yet think of something. Who are you? You may call me Graruk. I've lived here far longer than the rulers of those foolish tribes. I have seen much and eaten many um your words will not save you monster this creature is filled with irredeemable evil Saren Ray, guide my blade but sir you are not touching a blade that requires melee good I love fresh meat oh 
random random wolf came out of nowhere. What okay. a waste! Uh, you go there, Octavia. Consider me provoked. Lindsay, Christian. Get a heal on you. Hello. Ooh. Oh, harem down. And harem's up. It's like a yo yo. Okay, uh, death to the wargs. Seems we got that taken care of. Oh, hello, what is this? Unidentified amulet. Amulet of mighty fists. When unarmed and natural weapons. Okay. I think that was everything up there. Is there anything in the back here? Ah, there is. So that was the wargs. <clears throat> A megaloceros. Guess we're killing the wildlife now. Do I do I get experience for killing the wildlife? I do! I do get experience for killing the wildlife. Enough to level up even. Alright. Well, let me go through the level up process and I will let you know what happens. Alright, so our level up process has finished. So I got another level of Knife Master. I just realized I'm going to have to re-roll because I wasn't aware. One of the bonus abilities that you get actually is Finesse Training at uh, at level 3 Rogue. Uh, so he already adds his Dexterity Modifier and says Strength Modifier to Damage Roll. So this Slashing Grace here is actually completely a wasted feat, unfortunately. That means when we get back to Oleg's, I'll be, I'll be re-rolling him, essentially. Uh, also, that means that having 13 strength is useless, so... Yeah. Except I don't know if you can re-roll your ability stats at level 1 when you go to reset or not, so we'll figure... figure that out eventually. Uh, let's see, as for Harem, level 4 Cleric, of course, so just new spells, I go through the spells off screen. Uh, Amiri, I went with second level Barbarian, so that we could get Reckless Stance, that's another plus one to attack rolls. Level 4 Bard, extra spells, essentially there's no bonuses on that class level. Uh, level 4 Ecclesia Thurge. So, more spells. And level 3 wizard, so she now has level 2 spells as well. So, and I'll be going through, I'll be setting everyone's spells up off screen, so I don't need to waste time in the video doing that. <clears throat> what do we have here? Some sleeping bandits. I wish there was a Sucks to be those bandits. So here's the Might Hunters again. These are the guys that wanted us to deal with the warg. So I've dealt with the wolf leader. Hooray! Great new! Might and Kobold keep live together. No threat. Good for you. Maybe you grow a big hunter like us. Saying this gives me a small purse. 
283 coins. Suppose I'll go. Take care. What is it? A lonely shambling mound. Okay, well, it doesn't seem to be aggressive, so I guess I'll leave it alone for now. Body of a woman fouled beyond recognition. Her fingers still clench a torn leathern leash. Lab journal. Well, that was disturbing. So I read the lab journal, and I believe this shambling mound used to be an elf child that this uh, insane alchemist uh, rubbed some sort of experimental salve over and uh, it changed her into this. So, for the sake of humanity, I'm going to put it out of its misery. Jeez! Well, it does hit hard. Holy, what is this? Constricting vines. Engraved silver pendant. The name Bertha is engraved upon it. Sounds like a quest item if I ever seen one. Here comes distance. Cobalt Dragon Shaman. <clears throat> a cobalt lying in the middle of the patch calls out to you. Judging by the sorry state of his scales, he is the eldest of the group. His red eyes squint from the light, and his throat struggles to form words. Our patch. Our celestial radish. Ah, oh, the radish. I thought they were mushrooms that, uh... That the old hermit guy back at Oleg was talking about. It's the radishes. Okay, these are them. Yick! Radishes. We grew them back in my village. One day, while I was reading a book, my pa grabbed it from me and threw it into fire. Then he made me go pick radishes. It was autumn, and the ground was wet and cold, and there were worms everywhere. Ugh, filthy brutes. Uh, about that radish. The oldest of the kobold lift his, lifts his head from the ground and tries to focus his eyes on you. There are enough radishes for everyone. You mustn't forbid others from using what grows freely in the forest. I'll dig out as much as I need. Success! The old kobold remains silent for a time, wrinkling his forehead. Finally, lifting a finger solemnly, he announces, You chew, and let chew. Pleased with his verdict, he turns over on his side. Other kobolds break out into delighted hissing. Ah, uh, so I got the moon radish. Ah, uh, what are you doing here? Chew the radish. Search for secret truth. Small and big man. The kobolds who are leering nearby answer with a devout murmur. At least those who aren't sleeping. Ah, little philosophers, aren't they? Wouldn't expect that. Wouldn't expect. Alright, I'll see you later, uh, hippie kobolds. So we got the radishes, we just need the berries. I'll pick those up on the way back. So here we are, in Tusk Gutter's lair. Amirius, so here we are. The monster is here. And now I'll tear him apart. Yes! Just watch me. Uh, wait for her to continue. She clears her throat. There's a custom where I'm from. A boy kills a monster in front of the elders to prove he's a man. Ha <laughs> ha! That's funny. In our parts, boys must do something rather different to become men. We get it, Octavia. Amiri throws an angry glance at the half-elf, and Octavia falls silent. But her teasing smile remains. The barbarian clears her throat in hesitation. At our tribe, girls don't get no initiation at all. So I arranged my trial myself, like in the song about Kakul the Orphan. 
I downed a cave lion in single combat. Here, see? The scars I got in that battle. And do you know what my elders did after I threw the lion's skin at their feet? I think we just play the silent role. They laughed in my face. They said I scratched my belly myself and hired some man to kill the lion for me and trade for... Ugh. Later, they agreed my initiation, of course. They had no choice, but... Amira's voice wavers in anger. She spits on the ground. Must you really slay him in single combat? It'll take our whole party to bring this tusk gutter down. I see. Come on, to battle! Gorum, watch me! With a battle cry, the barbarian charges the boar. I'm going alone, got it? Alright, alright. Sure, pop rage. You may want to fight defensively? Like, what's your AC right now? 15? What are you doing? I think I think I can't do it alone. Ah, I gotcha. So we're actually supposed to... Okay, come on. Back up. I wounded it! Come finish it off! Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Here, let's get a flank. 26 sneak attack. Fifty crit, jeez. Breathing heavily, Amiri stands over the course of the fallen monster. What you say? See me in action? I almost chopped its head off. Yeah, you did a fifty damage crit. That's insane. Yes, a real epic battle, just like the sagas. I won't even have to embellish it for the book. That's it. Trial done. Now no one dares say Amiri is weak. She grins and thrusts her chest out. Still, why do you want to kill this monster? You passed this test back when you were with your tribe, didn't you? Amiri's face reddens. Well, not just pups must pass this test. If a man is newcomer to a tribe, he must bring a monster's hide. Proves he's not weak. Her voice trails off and falls silent. I'm honored you consider me a part of your new tribe. You're a strong and valiant warrior. Just don't start this, that. Amiri stops, trying to choose the right words. Don't talk me about honor and valor. I know already. She frowns and turns away. Still, I owe you thanks. You have a true chief's heart. You know what? If we meet another monster like this, I'll kill it too. Not for a test, just just that nobody would ever dare say Amiri isn't a warrior. I I think we understand now. Uh still, can I can I loot it? What's it got? Tusk Gutter's head. Can I skin it? Hell yeah. Sure, let me grab that stuff. Let me loot this poor dude who got Tusk gutted, I guess. Wand of fine traps. Okay. Why those ancient coins? All right, with Tusk Gutter dead, uh, I think we're actually running out of quests. I think last thing I need to do is find those berries for uh, Bakken. So we've made it to the Fangberry Cave. Let's see what we've got in here. And actually, I believe tomorrow we will start with the Fangberry Cave. I just kind of came in here and killed a couple spiders. Uh, but that will be it for today. So we finally took down Tartuccio, uh, of which he was promptly resurrected. Uh, we went and we did Amiri's test of strength against the uh, Tusk Gutter. 
and tomorrow we will start with uh, getting the berries here. We'll take those back, and we'll see where the adventure takes us next. Thank you for tuning in. I definitely appreciate your time, and I will see you next time.